His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the that much difficulty. Last time I promised we would do Yennefer's personal quest, The Last Wish. And I'm here uh, outside the gates of Larvik where we uh, needed to meet with Yennefer. So that's what we're going to do today. She appears to be inside this inn. Uh, and hopefully she can tell us a bit more about what we're going to do today. What the hell is happening? Okay. What did she just do to that man? Always did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm -hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Far Ipsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Far Ipsis set off for Skellige one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. Okay then. And uh, what happened to him? Because we kind of know why she is interested in in this because uh, Varipsis was the one that could control a djinn and had immense power because of it. So what you happened what to happened the man? To the locals say they last saw his ship off the coast of Hindisfjall. Then a once in an eon storm broke. So he's probably fish food by now. Not necessarily. I must learn what became of him. Why? Do you know him? No. It's not the mage who interests me. It's his djinn. Okay, so how do you know he has one? Are you sure this mage actually had a djinn? His books strongly suggest he did. He describes taming one, harnessing energy from its power. Storm wouldn't pose a threat if he'd had a djinn. He could just utter a wish. Perhaps he had none left, or something unexpected happened. Okay then. And, uh, well, we kind of know, but let's... Well, let's uh, let her explain that for herself. Why are you even interested? Jins are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a djinn, I shall gain incredible power. And that could be useful to us one of these days. Okay then, how can I help? All right. so what exactly do you expect me to do? You must help me find this djinn. I've no gold to offer in reward. But I shall be ever so grateful. Okay then, of course we'll help. Since you put it that way, fine, I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. Come? I will. Um, yeah, go to the harbor. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna quickly check out... Oh, no, mind. I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. Decided to risk it. Of course you did. So I'm gonna check out the bestiary entry for Jinns, so we uh, are prepared a bit about what we can do against it. Jinns. The pitcher emitted a puff of glowing red smoke. The smoke pulsated, then gathered into a, an irregular sphere floating in front of the poet's head. So that's actually uh, an excerpt of the book. First longing, because the, the poet is of course Dandelion. First longing, a tale fantastic in all ways. A djinn is a powerful air spirit, a condensation of power of the power of said element, endowed with consciousness and character. The latter usually nasty. According to legend, djinns can grant even the most far-fetched wishes, though they do so begrudgingly. Unusually powerful mages can capture and tame these beings, a mage who succeeds in doing so can then draw energy from such a spirit, using it to cast spells without having to summon the power from traditional sources. Would have been handy to not destroy that garden in the previous episode, but... Only a handful have ever managed this feat, however, for Jin's fight to avoid such a fate with a stubborn determination. To imprison a Jin and bend it to one's will, one must first weaken it, and that is no easy task. Fighting djinns is extraordinarily difficult, they can fling off spells in an instant that the most accomplished human mages 
could never master with years of preparation. What's more, by manipulating the element of air they can summon gales, powerful storms, even hurricanes. Luckily, as magic beings they are vulnerable to silver, yet steel will do them no harm. So we have dimeridium bombs and elemental oil to use against it. Should we need to, of course. Uh, I might as well sharpen my gear. There's a lot of uh, quests in this town, apparently. Try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? It would depend on the situation. Okay, that was a lot of sexual innuendo. But that aside, if we're gonna do this, this will probably be a hell of a task. So we need to talk to Yennefer, but uh, we can, I'm gonna suppose we need to enter the boat first. The ship carrying the djinn sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. Sonar! Alright, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. <laughs> what was that about the initiative? Okay, I'm here. Sitting down. Go, milady. Not sure this gin thing's a good idea. We managed to seize one before, eh? Do you remember? Of course. Dandelion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> How lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant to be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. I'm gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life. Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always, not about you mocking my every mistake. Careful what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah. And as for your missteps, I don't like you see why I shouldn't laugh at their amusing. So yeah, that was a huge reference to the book. There's Maybe do here on the explain it a bit here. further. That long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Asad, I cried a rithorn. Ready. Careful down there. So Geralt said something about uh, that he used a wish. Something about plowing yourself. Um, Geralt saved Dandelion from a djinn he found in uh, a bottle. The djinn attacked Dandelion and he lost his voice. And that's the first time Geralt actually helped... Well, met Yennefer, should I say. Oh, let's take care of that. Downer. So, Geralt was looking for someone to heal Dandelion, and since uh, Yennefer was the only sorceress in the neighborhood, she was the one ready to help. But she had a proposition in return. Uh, she cured Dandelion, but she put a spell on Geralt, tricking him into uh, convincing the mayor to let her capture that djinn. Things went wrong quickly, uh, it appeared that Geralt had inherited three wishes and he accidentally made the guard explode with one of his first wishes that the djinn took pretty literal. As in uh, making the man explode on himself. There we go, and maybe one more. When Yennefer tried to capture that djinn, the entire town was destroyed. But Geralt saved her by using his last wish, asking that she would always be with him. So prohibiting the djinn from killing her. This drowner is giving me a headache, thank you. The djinn then disappeared and Yennefer didn't manage to actually capture that djinn because it got away. Uh, so she's trying to do the same thing again. And have How to check out. Yeah, and you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, 
You've nothing to hide, right? Wouldn't admit it if I did. Not the point. See anything interesting? A shipwreck in the cavern. I'll look inside. Snapped masts, busted planks, and a whole swarm of drowners. Probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew. Then made their nest here. There's also a clan Drummond figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. Well, there's loot here, so give me a second, Yennefer. What the hell is this? It's a black magic doll and a giant shell. Okay, so those are all buckthorns. So I'm gonna open this chest. And then we'll head back up. There we go, and let's continue our sonar trip. Wherever the leads take us. So that's a bit uh, a shorter version of how the story went about Yennefer and Geralt actually meeting, explaining that the relationship isn't natural, as I said before. What do you do? Ask for a beautiful house and a palace and a queen's crown? Are we still talking about the chill? Have we moved on to a talking fish? Doesn't much matter. Both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn in time. Okay then, keeping everything mysterious as always. Something's here. Another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. So because of Yennefer's spell, we're still uh, able to breathe underwater indefinitely. I don't know what he's doing there, but that looked incredibly funny. Probably there's something around here. Found a wreck. It's been here a while. Woods rotted. Look around, but be careful. Look for something that might indicate it's the mage's ship. So there's something right here. Beautiful craftsmanship. What do you have? A war horn bearing Clan Haymai symbols. Beautiful craftsmanship. What do you have? A war horn. Yeah, I got that. Something over here. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Haymai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Long ship belonged to Clan Dimon. Yen. Doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken long ships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. There we go. Kinda was weird to hear their telepathic voices while I was above water, but details. You're getting better at this. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like Hello, the sirens. The golden dragon and the avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember, the chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember, though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. Okay then. Not what she made out to be in the books, but uh... Another book reference. I'm gonna quickly add another ability point, because I leveled up in between recordings. There we go. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for the boost and fast attack damage, just plain old fast attack damage. Although I do lose the arrow deflection. Maybe I shouldn't. Um... I'm gonna stick to my uh, my signs for now and boost uh, the Quen intensity a bit more because that might come in handy later on. So acquire. I'm not gonna equip it right now. I'm gonna wait for the next slot to open up and then we'll see about the rest. So one of those sirens is still following us. We might have to uh, kill that thing first. Although, it seems to be minding its own business. So this seems to be a big open area. And there's a siren underwater here as well. See something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell. To see through your eyes. 
Now relax. I soon fall to obey them. Ain Eichter Illivade. Holy shit. Trippy. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks, and everything lying within Holy the teleportation shit. zone. Always clear the borders were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. Look for anything that might contain a gin. Fine, but get out of my eyes. Too cramped in here for us both. I see fall to obey them. Ain Eichter Illivade. Okay. She's gone. I was looking for a few items around here. And uh, there seems to be something over here. Transverse cut through the pelvis. Surgical precision. No conventional weapon can do this. Holy shit! He's cut in half. Because of that teleportation, probably. Another siren. There we go. Let's take some of the loot with us. What's this? No Broken seal. There, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Come back up. Silver. Pearl encrusted cutlery. Ship belonged to someone awfully wealthy. Amos was no pauper. It could very well be his ship. Well, the ship has been cut in half as well in surgical precision. Hmm. Something cut this basket exactly in half. Bet it was cut by the same thing that cut the skeleton. Can I give some information about this thing as well? Maybe, maybe not. I wonder if Yennefer has a permanent version of this uh, this spell. Yeah, I don't seem to be able to uh, activate the boat. So let's surface again. Give me a second. The pressure must be killing him. Oh yeah, if you're wondering what that sound is, it's uh, only that sonar spell that Yennefer used. Only found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once Great. we find that, we should find the gin. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another portal. Stop <laughs> whining. One, two... There we go. Three. Said you were gonna go on three. I did. Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this gin? But you already know. A gin's power is priceless to a mage. <laughs> tell me or I leave. Won't warm your way out of it. Not this time. Tell me the truth or I'll leave. You needn't resort to blackmail. You would have learned eventually. Why truth. don't you tell but me the truth? The fact, I want to know now. How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us. Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it. This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. Okay then. I get it. You want to know what'll happen if magic no longer binds us. I want to know if when the Jinn's magic is gone, if we've any magic left of our own. Fine. Sounds like a good idea. I already mentioned that I, uh, I'd like to think that they have a natural relationship by now. So let's mm. do it. Wondered that myself many times. You see, we're just a step away from learning the truth. Come, let's search the ship. There we go. The moment of truth. And a ship on top of a mountain. So 
so we're gonna have to search the ship. Seems Amos was quite the eccentric, asking the Jin to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. He didn't necessarily. Jins are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. <laughs> that would be best, yes. So a little safe, because the Jin is n nothing to be trifled with. Decide how to word it. We should explore the ship. Well, I'd hurry up with deciding how you would word it. Word it. Colton. Dark iron. Bread. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. No, simply a Nothing pair of here. scissors. Nope. Well, a runestone. Might want to take a look downstairs. Or maybe up top. Let's try up top first. Nothing here. So let's take a look in the belly of the ship. Seems to be something in the back there. Gnomish Gwaiya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mystery, Mystery of Mysteries. Agnes of Glanville. Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of the Holy shit, he was squashed. Mage he was slept here. Someone was dragged across the deck. Or left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. Yeah, he got crushed under the Wonder what this means. Okay. Nothing in here. Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. War left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. War okay, Gerald, I get it. Mark when the ship suddenly Nothing tipped to one here. side. And there's another. Nothing here. No. Okay. So then it's probably the thing that I thought it would be. So there's a chest over here. So let's take everything. Enhanced relic oil. So, we kind of know what to expect. We go with the relic uh, ele elemental oil. Sorry, elemental oil. And the. Um, Dimeridium bombs over here. Dimeridium bombs. Instead of the grape shot. Yeah, it's fine by me. So let's equip the Dimeridium Bomb. So a little save. And then activate this thing. This means. No, nothing. Hmm. What else is there then? Has he got squished underneath here? Ah, there we go. He didn't want to interact with it a few seconds ago. Oh, what the? Yen, I think you should see this. What do you have? Um, well, your mage got kind of squashed. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. Um... Did it kill him? did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. Well, when instigated the by the Jin, probably. Amos must have uttered a wish like, take us away anywhere, to a mountaintop, even. And the Jin granted the wish literally. They had a hard landing. Amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall. The bookcase did the rest. Crusoe. always knew too much studying could kill you. Ah, oh, you joker. If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. There we go. Bravo. Come to the deck. I have an idea. Okay then. Does that involve getting me killed? Probably. So let's save again. And let's get ready for a big battle. On a ship on a mountaintop. Yeah, things don't get much more ridiculous than that. I believe. Step back 
back a bit. What are you going to do? Okay, mistress. Summon and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tame djinn. Riff kaishta en gaya. Kaishta et disclare. Devered me castle. Combat music incoming. I don't think it's really happy. Holy oh, shit. You must weaken him while I throw him into the sphere. Prepare to trade places. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Hit me. Yeah. Go on. I'm gonna keep Twen up as long as it's doing those fancy things. So I can heal with most of its attacks by using Quen. And get close, and once I'm close, drop the shield and start banging. Not good. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, I can feel something in my face. Damn it. Just a bit too late with my shield there. So using the active shield to get close when he does that is an ideal way to get in some damage. So hopefully this is my final push. Damn it. Almost out of oil. I lost my oil. But I beat it. It's down, so Quen seems to be the active shield version of Quen seems to be the best way to deal with it. Got you! There it goes. Your master died before uttering his last wish. I cannot capture you. We can struggle like this for eternity or I can release you. If you do one thing for me. <sighs> do you see the spell that binds us? <sighs> Only a djinn can remove another djinn's spell. Remove this one and you'll be free. Uh, I hope this works out. Okay, large explosion, very large explosion. Okay, storm's over. Yes. When that went pretty well. It's all over. Maybe we should sit, you look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit. There goes the romance music again. So, uh, 
something better now? Feel any better? I told you, I'm fine. Don't need to play tough for me. That was a hard fight. Maybe not as hard as the last time we tamed a djinn, but still. <laughs> no comparison, I'm afraid. Half of Rhine suffered then. Now I'm merely a bit tired. Yeah, because you, you de destroyed a town last I'd time. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. You're welcome. Well, I never could say no to you. Hmm. Perhaps that will change now. I don't feel think anything it will. that anything's different. Hmm. I expected. I don't know what I expected actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought you'd become a stranger to me, that I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. And this is the defining moment for your relationship with Yennefer, so uh, I still love you too. Jen might have cheated us after all. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed either. <laughs> I love you, Yen. And I love you. So Triss's defining moment is in Now or Never, which we refused. Oh, what was that? It can't be all sweetness and light. Strange. Done that so many times, but it felt like our first kiss to me. It was in a way. Besides, once you say I love you, a kiss has to taste differently. Okay, Dad. And that's no end on a kiss. Ah, uh, yep. Maybe we ought to test a few other things. Amos's cabin looked cozy. Not so fast, Geralt. We'll have plenty of time to visit cozy cabins later. Well, I guess but you're I doubt right. The world will end if we sit here a while. <sighs> My, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Think the spirits of Skellige favor us. Well, that's a way of putting it. There goes the portal. Next time we go on horseback. A horse would never make it down that mountain. What now? Well, I'm due to appear in Vizima. We must report to the Emperor after all. Ceres our concern, and only ours. At heart, perhaps. But it's not what we agreed with Amir. We must see him. Okay then. Awfully loyal of you. Well, I just showed my love for you, so uh, I'm not gonna chastise her now. So be it. If we gotta, we gotta. We wouldn't have known Ciri had returned if not for the Emperor and his agents. It's she has a point. Maybe you should close that portal in the back. Um, let's talk before we leave. Yen, what happened back there? It was very nice. Let's not ruin it by hashing out the details. Okay, we'll go to see the Baron. Collect Uma from him, then we'll ride for Kaer Morin. I shall join you as quickly as I can. See you, Yen. Take care of yourself. Goodbye, love. Um, she's still here, but... So there we go. That's uh, Yennefer's romance quest complete and accepted as well. So uh, I'm gonna take a little break. I'm glad I don't have to walk down that mountain because that would have been a bitch. Um, if you enjoyed the episode don't forget to like it right here on YouTube and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well because I'd really appreciate the support. Next time we'll probably continue the uh, Involves clothing quest to uh, rid Morgvark of his uh, werewolf curse but without further ado I bid you farewell so thank you guys enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video stream goodbye